Hello YouTube and welcome to my first video uh, from Minecraft. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you and explaining how the calculator I built works. Uh, it's purely redstone. Um, I'll try and explain the best I can. Uh, if you haven't or if you don't know anything about binary I suggest you go and do some research first otherwise it won't make a lot of sense um, yes yeah, my first video so bear with if there's any issues okay so first we're going to start off by showing you the actual user interface uh, so you currently got the display there uh, it's obviously uh, it's, uh, what is it? a segment display uh, and then we've got two inputs so we can do single digit inputs uh, and we've got addition and subtraction uh, can't do negative numbers at the minute but it may get there at some point so I'll start off with add 4 so we'll just wait for that to come through it's a bit slow because there's a lot of redstone behind it which you'll see in a bit so you can see we've got the 4 come through there there you go and we'll add 9 now hopefully this should come to 13 if it's yes there we go so we've got the one on the left and then the three on the right okay so now if we were to change that to subtraction hopefully when that comes through we should get off we got nine minus Okay, subtraction isn't working. That's great. Okay, I may know why that is. No worries, anyway. Right, if we go back onto addition, hopefully that 13 will come back through. If not, I'll have to program it in again. Okay, yes, so we've got the 13 come back through. Right. So, um, right, so, I'll explain what's behind it. So, this is the redstone behind it that you can see all of this is just to add those two digits together so we'll start off with the first input as it's the simplest bit of it really so binary right you've got ones and zeros something looks like that so redstone's on is representing a one and something that's off represents a zero and that's the same throughout the whole thing and it just works off that concept so when you input those numbers you press the button and I'll reset it a second as you can see so we're going to press this button 2 and what's the redstone behind it so it lights up 2 which then sends a signal down to these four lines of redstone that you can see here now this is an input bus, the bus is just a collection of bits of data, so the ones and zeros. This is then stored using a flip-flop circuit here, which is what this does, so this records the last input and then you've got a reset line up there, which I'll explain later. So here you have, you've got your first bit here, so this represents any ones, this represents any twos, fours and over here is the eight bit so you can see now we've got off on off off so that gives us two on the input for the first the first input now if we head over to the second input you've got the same thing here exactly the same four bits here of the input bus uh, they're put through a flip-flop circuit oh. thought I was going to sneeze, anyway so this is another of the flip flop circuits which represents our first bit here so that's our one and then those two inputs are then combined with or combined with the other inputs in the series of logic gates now if you don't no logic gates, I will briefly explain. This is a logic gate in Minecraft. 
but a logic 8 in normal usage would it takes the two inputs and works out gives you an answer so this is an XOR logic gate which says if this is on or if one of these is on and the other is off then this will represent a 1 at the end if both of these are on then it will not and if neither of these on are on similarly it will not so that just says if one of these is on send a signal out here so we take the first bit this is our first bit from over here which you can see is the one bit from the input on the right and it takes the input from the left which is over here this is part of the subtraction part um, which I will explain later it takes this input it then XORs it and then there we go, here we go it then XORs it with the subtraction which I'll explain again later to give you your final first bit answer bus or bit of the answer bus even so this is your first bit of the answer so obviously when you've got two and I'll just add in another number uh, seven might work nicely seven so two and seven we should give you nine hopefully when that comes through Excellent, right, so that's working. And you can see that now this has come on, which gives us our first bit of the answer bus. Now, ignore the track, there's a tour for, I run a server for a few friends, and the tour is kind of for them, so. Uh, where are we going? Then, this, that's the end. Okay. So then, under this first bit that you have, if both of these were on, and you also have underneath here, you have an AND gate which looks like this. So this says if both of these inputs are on, then this will be on. And that's what you call a carry. So like you may, like you would in multiplication of normal numbers, or addition of normal numbers, if you had 3 and 9, you're going to end up with 2 in that column, but you're going to end up with another 1 in the other column. This is what this does. This carries forwards onto the next bit over here. So this gets anded. That's for the subtraction. So it gets anded with this bit here and follows back down here. So I'll bring that back in a minute. This is the second bit of the first answer, uh, first input bus, sorry, uh, which goes up here. Comes up here. So this is the XOR, like. And as I said earlier, if both of these are on, then they will not be on. So that's how that works. And then this is the other input bu input bit from down there with the subtraction bit there. So this takes the second input bit, joins it. So that's off because it's an XOR. But this is the AND. So as you can see here, that's your AND gate. And because they're both on, then the answer bit follows through. So over here, where it goes, and it was another section for the subtraction, and carried on to the next bit. Then this input output from the XOR uh, is XORed again with another subtraction section, and gives you your final second answer bit, which comes up here. Right, third bit. Uh, where is it gone? Um, it gets a bit messy at this point, so bear with. Right, so here is your third input bit from the right input. It's down here. This is your XOR gate, so it says if one of them's on, so that's the other input from the left hand side. So that's on because you've got seven. So that's your fourth bit of seven. This is an XORD, so you get that answer. But which is then XORD again with this, which is the subtraction section, uh, which gives you nothing on this output. However, it's also handed underneath, uh, somewhere around here. There you go, handed there. 
and follow through onto the next answer bit here. So, if where we go down here, mm, that's that bit, that's that bit. So, if we follow this now, okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, that's a long way. Where am I going? I'm lost. Here we go. Ah, got it. So this is the fourth bit, which is then ended here. Or oh, XOR there, sorry. Uh, if it's down, XOR again. Get out of that. XOR with the carry from the previous, the previous, the fourth bit. So this is the eight bit. So it's XOR with this, which then gives you this final answer bit here, which is your eighth bit, sorry, of the answer bus. And then it's also anded underneath just in case you have a sixteenth bit. Which is funny. Follow this around here, up here, and other places. Where does that go? Ah yes. So then we start so now what we've got is this which is what you can see in front of you. So we've got uh, what was my calculation? Seven and seven and two. Is it nine? Yes, it must be nine. So here we've got our five-bit answer bus. So we have our first bit here. So we've got our second, third, fourth, and fifth. So obviously you've got one, two, four, eight, sixteen. So if you add those two together, you've got one and eight gives you nine. So we know we've got the correct answer coming out. Now what we have to do is we have to turn that into back into deanery, so normal numbers, so we can then represent that on the screen. So the way I've done this is I have a load of AND statements, which are like XORs and, oh in fact we've already had AND, so that's fine. Uh, so what they do, basically, there's one for each possible answer. Just turns it back into the normal numbers that you and normal people read. So what we've got here is it says if that and that are on, and 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 that and that are on, then it must be this number here, which is two. Okay. So if you didn't get that, I'll just go through it again. It says if this is on, and this is on and this is on, and this is on, and this is on, then it will be this number. Obviously with 2, it will be, if this is off, and this is on, and this is off, and this is off, and this is off, then it must be 2. So we do that for every possible number, so 0 to 18, and that is what you can see, all the signs, you know, just when I was making it, so you've got various bits coming in, so I know that's the fourth answer bit, uh, the first answer bit, uh, the second answer bit and then it with then. So all of that section and all of that section over there change it back into deanery. Then the long redstone well, as you can see are the answer bit. So in fact we'll follow the answer through from back here just so you get an idea. So I know that, that is the first bit. That's is that right? What's going on here? If we got sharing on the display. Very old mine. Okay. So what this is saying is where's the Okay, these ones I think, yes, these ones. So this is saying if this is on and this is on and another one is on, I sometimes and them with other numbers, so you can almost extend that. So if you add, say, a seven with another number that needs another bit on top of that seven, like say, if you add the eighth bit on top, so sixteen, I sometimes added the eight bit of the answer bus and the seven bit of the calculation here. So you got this bit here. So I'm not sure what it is. One, possibly, yeah, one. And then that must be something else from down there. Two, 
can remember that must be four. Or something. No, that can't be right. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, well, I do, but I've forgotten. So, this is our answer. It's coming down here. There we go. And then, we come to the um, display unit. Oh, hold on, I've got two numbers. Oh, of course, yes, sorry. Um, Alright, what's that doing? What's that displaying? Why is it displaying a wall as well? Okay, I'll have to look into that. Not sure why that's doing that. It shouldn't be. We'll check that later. Maybe, yeah, so this is the actual answer. That's the 9 that's coming through, sorry. Not sure what's going on there. Then, so I've got two uh, bits for each half of the screen. So each signpost is a number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go, 9. So then those link to various things which. So I've got top, so that's the top row. So if, I know if I power this, then I get redstone torches on the top row. <laughs> and then top right, and right bottom. Um, where's left? There should be a middle row somewhere. Somewhere around here. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's middle. So then those are linked to each number. So if I want to represent a 9, I can just power that column, or that uh, redstone here. And that will power a nine on the screen. So if you have to do that each with each unit, so there's another one with three, four, five, six. Obviously these aren't linked up yet because I'm not going to have a number greater than eighteen, so I only need the first bit. Yeah, roll it up. Then that follows through and goes onto the back of the screen. And that is what gives you that number. Then the subtraction part, I'll do a basic explanation. So, I don't know if I can get to it even. Okay, so it comes down here, around the back, and down here. Ah, here we go. This is what that was it. So, if it's subtraction, what it does is it comes up here and it XORs it with the initial input uh, which gives you so this is actually the eighth bit because it goes a bit funny on the end but on the other ones uh, find it here we go so this is the input from the eighth uh, eighth bit yes yeah, sorry eighth bit the input that was the sixteenth bit back there so it XORs it with it with the other input and then it for, puts it through the system. So obviously, if it's not subtraction, then it's addition. So that works normally, and that's fine. But if it is and it's on, what it does is it inverts it, which effectively two complements it for any computer people out there, and then puts it into the XOR gate initially with the other input from the other one, which is not XOR. So only one input is XORed. However, because it's this minus this, this is the thing that gets XORed. So this gets turned negative, and then obviously, if you add a negative, you subtract it effectively. So that's what that does. I believe the issue that I had earlier was in the last couple of days, I've added these. Um, flip flop circuits, and obviously the subtraction bit wasn't working because that's stored there rather than it. It was getting changed before that, so that needs that needs to be on, but it wasn't for some reason. Now the reason for the one, we'll go and have a look for that now because that shouldn't really be happening. I'm not sure why it was. So this is saying, and, so if those two are both on, what is this? That's an AND gate. 
which isn't what's powering it. That's not powering it. This must be powering it. Is that a that way movable? No, that's not a that way movable. What's going on there? What's powering that? Can't be that. That faces that way. Well, why is that on? That shouldn't be on, should it? No, it should be on. Hmm, that's very strange. Okay, I'll look into that, because that's facing that way. So we know that the circuit's going that way, so it can't be coming along there. We know that it's coming out of that one. It's going up there, so it's got to be down here. But that is going that way. So somewhere in here there must be an override. Which end gets powered. Okay, that end gets powered, that's interesting. Place that back there. So what if we do that? Ah, so that's getting powered. Why is that getting powered? That's an AND gate. Is there an Hmm. Have I done that AND gate right? Should have done. It's exactly the same as that one. Or is it an OR gate? What have I done? That's old. Okay, I'll have to check that. So if I... This has been working for months and I've had no issues, but it's obviously something that has an effect, only affects certain things. Ah, that's an OR gate, isn't it? No, because an X. That would give. Hmm. An AND combines the two. That's not an AND gate. It's not an XOR. But that's. Okay, I'll look into that and see what I can come up with as a solution. Um, but no, it shouldn't be happening, I don't think. Anyway, I don't know whether. Um, so anyway, I hope you understood some of that. Um, obviously, if you've got any suggestions of what I could do better next time, uh, I will try and do more videos. Um, hopefully, I should have some more time in the future to do more Minecraft things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and possibly learned something. Something. Uh, it's always good if you can help another Minecrafter. And yeah, please, there, hopefully there will be more, so please subscribe, uh, like and comment, do what you want. Um, and yeah, this is Wasp95, out.